Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to make it so we can gain possession of the ball. This is what it'll look like when we are finished. It looks a little weird because the ball's always on one side of the player and it's actually working the way it needs to work. What we forgot to do with our character controller is to make it rotate towards the direction it's moving towards. So that's the direction it's rotated towards, which is to the left, and it just stays that way no matter how we move. So we will do that in the next video, but in this video, we are just going to gain possession of the ball. Let's dive in. Before we dive in the script, we need to go to the ball and we need to add a rigid body to it. And we want to add it on the ball itself. We also need to to go to the colliders duplicate this sphere collider paste it just look you just copy component and then paste component as new and that'll put it right here and then just the radius to be 1.2 or just something a little bit bigger than the collider be sure to check is trigger on this one on the one that's a little bit larger than the ball itself with that out of the way we are ready to dive into the script we need to make a ball controller script i put that under duck hive scripts and i created a folder for it called ball now let's open up the ball controller and you need to make Make three properties, two serialized fields, one for the rigid body, two for the possession offset, which we have it as a default as new vector three, zero point five and one, but this actually needs to be negative point five three. Let me see what I got. I think it's 535, negative 535, negative 0. 0.535, negative 0. 0.535. All right, and one on the Z. So we also need a private field, private transform possession holder on trigger enter. We're checking to see if a character collides or not collides if a character enters the trigger on the ball then we want to fire game possession player be sure to do get component and parent because if we look at our character the collider is what's going to be entering the trigger and we need to call the parent because the character controller lives on the parent of the collider scroll down and we've got our gain possession which uh, passes through a character controller which we call player. And so we assign that to our possession holder, the transform of that. We set RB, the rigid body, to be kinematic. We set that to disable any physics from being enacted on the ball, but I actually want to test something out real quick. I want to see what it looks like with physics because I was trying to get the ball to roll whenever I moved around. Let's see if this does it. It does. It kind of gives some funny behavior as well, probably because we just need to lower this a little bit. Let's do, we just needed to lower that to, let's do 0.6. So that's up to you. If you don't want the ball to roll or if we want to rotate it later with a script, which is what I had originally planned on doing, Doing. it's up to you really how you want to do it right now it doesn't matter i'm just going to leave it i don't know hang on let me think i'm actually just going to delete it come down and delete this on the release possession so we're not going to mess with setting it to be kinematic and not kinematic we're just going to leave it so physics can still be enacted on the ball at all time that simplifies our method a little bit so we just got game possession we just go to the character controller and call game possession and we'll go to that in just a minute just want to show you the update position now in the past i've made a soccer tutorial and we've done this completely different in the past we did it to where it would be a child of the uh, or we would parent the ball to be a child of the player of the character that gained possession of the ball now we're updating it every frame we're not parenting it we're just updating the position of the ball every frame to be the possession holders position plus the offset and that may seem less performant we've got so much performance to work with with that like, this is the way to do it because if you if you parent it to the player it's going to mess with the physics of your player's movement and it's just going to be it's just going to it's just not as good trust me this this way is the way to go and then we've got our release possession which just basically says no one has possession so it won't update the position of the ball that means we did change our character controller a little bit we added this ball in possession which gets the ball it's in possession and if we scroll down in our fix update we say if the ball's in possession, then update the position of the ball that is currently in possession. We've got our gain possession and our release possession. We've got our gain possession method, which passes in the ball. And we've got our release possession method, which does not pass in anything. We haven't done anything with the release possession. So let's do that now. Let's go up to our update and we'll just say, just for now, we'll say if input any key 
and release possession. Test that out. So we hit play and now we can't gain possession at all. It's because I'm using the keyboard and I'm pressing any key. And so we may be gaining possession, but we're losing it immediately. So, oh, I had it, had it for a second. Hang on, let me just stand right here. We got possession. Now if we press any key, we lose possession. We need to update ball right here. Be negative 0.6. Apply that to our prefab to get key down and this will be key code not a space do that that makes way more sense all right we got the ball we can move around with it rolling and, and we press space we let go of the ball so there we go that's it for this video that's all we got in the next one we are going to make it so the character uh, rotates in the direction that they're moving towards so it'll just auto rotate and look way more natural it'll make it so the ball hopefully stays in front of the player while they're moving because i'm almost certain that the character is looking this way but we'll worry about that in the next video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one